Welcome to this week's uh, episode of Catching Up with Armadale Auto Parts. I was going to do a little bit of an intro at the workshop. The weather's horrible, which means you wouldn't be able to hear me even talking over the rain off the roof of the workshop. So anyway, really quickly, we're going to cover and do a bit of a feature on a car that we built seven or eight years ago called Voodoo Blue. Uh, we haven't got any video, we've got lots of pictures, we'll go through some of the build stuff, what we used, why we used it, and the registration process. Enjoy. So during the week, we were working on Lizzie's FB Holden. Some of the jobs we did, uh, we uh, lowered the front, uh, lowered springs and fitted lowering blocks on the rear to obviously lower the car all round. A couple of small mechanical jobs on the front, a couple of bushes and that sort of thing, and arranged the wheel alignment. We also then installed all the side mouldings, uh, found all the clips, matched them up, made it all work. We fitted uh, door rubbers all the way around. These have an inner and an outer rubber. So we got all that organised, made sure it drove okay, uh, and basically now it's ready for Lizzie to pick up and cruises all, all she wants. All right. So now we're going to talk about a car that we completed building about seven years ago, started maybe 10 years ago. Craig's with me here, and we're just going to explain what we did, why we did it, and how we did it. Yeah, it's basically influenced by the 60s show rods, like the bubble cars and that sort of thing. Um, ultimately, I really wanted to put a bubble on it, but we also wanted it to be legally registered, so the bubble was a no-go. So we ended up with what our, our version of what a 60s show car would be. So what we started with, it's a bit hard to tell from these photos, but as you'll see in a photo coming up, essentially we had a, an original Dodge Cowl, 1927. 59 Chrysler Royal rear quarter panels. Yep, we, we started with the original Dodge chassis, but then we ended up fabricating one to the same specs with just a bigger kick up in the rear and we used a Chevy 2356 6 cylinder that we had kicking around. You can see here how we've got the Chrysler Royal quarters mated up to the original cow. We could have got it to flow a little bit better if we could fabricate a cow, but the problem is, again, was licensing. Uh, we needed to have an original car uh, cow to, to register it. And a couple of other things we also did from that original photo to these photos you can see now where it's getting a bit more complete, we had to, we ended up extending the body a bit longer so that you could actually sit in it and it was more comfortable. A couple of the other things we did is obviously, like we'll start and sort of show some detail show photos here. You can see we used uh, Cadillac taillights. The, the rear deck lid was completely hand formed by Craig. Uh, the radiator, we hid using, it was a Pontiac grill, and then we extended the sides of it back to hide the radiator a little bit. Also the Nerf bars, front and rear Nerf bars were fabricated. Um, we put a triple carb, I think that was an Offenhauser manifold and rocker cover. Uh, Wayne, uh, Wayne rocker cover. But Wayne rocker cover, yeah, yeah, an Offy manifold. Um, the this shot underneath here, you can just sort of, it's a bit hard to make out, but that is the rear four bar and exhaust and that sort of thing. And there's a better shot of the engine. So you can see that the triple carbies of which actually only the center one was running and they're just holding carbies. Yeah, we modified them to fit the, um, the manifold. Yeah, and the rear shot, it sort of gives you a bit of an overview how we ended up, um, yeah, with the side stripe, which is actually in, in aluminium, and there's a bit of a side profile. The wheels are actually something that I had already kicking around as well. A lot of the stuff on the car, originally the plan was just to use up parts we had left over and we were, rather than throwing them out, we'd it wasn't, use them. Originally, it wasn't going to be built to this quality. Uh, it was sort of going to be just, oh, we'll just use up all the parts we've got. But then when we started and sort of realized how good it looked, we got a bit carried away. Yeah, we, and we, there you can see the gauges, we didn't have a dashboard, so we've just suspended the gauges in buckets underneath the dash. 
Yeah, so we sort of, it, it, originally it was just going to be not rat ride, but it would have been just a cheaply built car. And then as it got further along, we thought, oh, this is starting to look really good. We'd better paint it nicely and add a bit more chrome. And uh, it did drive really good. It was still a good driving car and it went quite well. It only weighed 980 kilos. Yeah. So with yeah. the six cylinder, it, it actually went really well. Drove them in. Had a full opening boot lid and that access the fuel tank. Um... So the rear, the, the diff is actually just a hole in one tonner. We had to find a diff wide enough to clear the body and allow for room for the cycle fenders. Because of the, then the laws in WA, that meant we had to find a wider front axle and we ended up using an undropped original 32 axle with split bones. Um, it also got used in, in a bunch of different things. It was featured in quite a few magazines and these shots here were at a um, convention a... center that that was yeah. really weird that night because i actually drove it inside the convention center put it in an elevator and had it lifted up to the next floor and then drove it out the elevator it was quite surreal yeah and you can see here so it was featured in cruising magazine street, street machine hot street. rod i think yep it was forged forge magazine um it's been featured on a few websites as well, like uh, I think Which Car shared it a couple mm. of times, the, the Strength Machine feature, and yep. those photos by Jordan Least. And these photos here where uh, Dale came over and they were shot in a quarry, even though it looks like out of space. It was actually just a quarry and Dale added the stars in. The stars, in. yeah. Well, he's a star, so there you with, go. with magic, he yeah. used magic. <laughs> yeah. So that was it. With, like, I guess if anyone's got any more questions about the car, they could, they could ask in the comments. Yep. Uh, or send us, send us a message or ring us at the shop. I mean, uh, we enjoy building it. It now resides in Melbourne. Haven't seen it for a little while, but keep an eye open for it. I'm very tempted to build another one. If anyone wants to build another one, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. like to build another one. Yeah, and here's some of the cars that obviously drop in during the week. The Bear Steel car there, we'll feature that later on as we built that one as well. Yep. And we can go into a bit of detail on that.